This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. What is up, everybody? And I got some Sega news. Yeah, you knew the whole IDW being canon thing. You knew basically Sega uh, were basically opening Pandora's box. And of course, these uh, these no no life fans, of course, they were going to attack Ian Flynn, who basically is responsible for writing the stories for said comics. And also wrote the story for Sonic Frontiers. So again, Ian Flynn has responded to this and he's wrote this in six paragraphs. So we're going to go through each paragraph and then we'll analyze it. So Ian Flynn says, file this under FFS. I don't have time to do deep dive on everyone's uh, post history to vet them. Someone comes to me saying they're being harassed for their shipping choice. I'm inclined to believe them. The fandom's bad about that. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Like, seriously, the shipping is disgusting on so many different levels of what I've seen. And with Sonic Prime, obviously, Episode 1, Season uh, season 2, obviously, the final three minutes of that, of that episode, you got so much fucking material right there for one of the most disgusting fandoms ever being Sonato. I can't fucking believe that this garbage. I'll get more into in my final al analysis in a moment. I just want to add to this conversation. All right, let's move on to the second second uh, statement right here. Fan stuff is largely harmless. Some rendo shipping of OC with a title character is fine. Shipping night upon any pairing is fine. It's not inherently a political or moral statement. The fandom is bad about this too. Son Amy, Son Ado, Wizangle, I don't care. Go nuts, have fun. Wow, Ian, when, when to lose some integrity right there. How the hell can you support a fandom like Sonato? I understand you're saying, oh, it's not canon. Let them have their fun. It's fucking, it's a fucking disgusting fandom, dude. What the hell's wrong with you? Have some fucking integrity, at least. Ugh, but again, I mean, it, it's Ian Flynn here. I mean, he's basically just making this fluff piece just to appease everybody. Again, the problem with this, Ian, is that you're basically appeasing the toxic fans just so they can stop harassing you, but then you're going to have real legitimate fans who use logic trying to say, why are you doing this? Like, just stop. Just ignore these people. That's all you got to do. Just stay the course, man. Focus on your work. Stop appeasing these fucking toxic fans. Look at what Mortar Kishimoto did. He tried to appease them, and look what happened at the end. Jesus, man. All right, number three. Tango and Whisper aren't officially lesbian. The majority of the fandom creative assume they are. Myself included, I don't outright validate it. I can't. I don't want folks disappointed if something changes down the line. It's technically at this point. Exactly. And in, a, in his recent uh, podcast at Bumblecast, I specific, I specified Sonic and Shadow would never truly happen because some of y'all would lose your minds if if someone officially adjacent even implied that it was possible. Some then anyways. Anyway, it's fan fan stuff so it's fine let it be again ian why are you adding fu fuel to the fire you could just set you could just i understand you're saying yeah you could you could you could ship whatever you want that's fine in ian flint's mind this shit's not canon he he's basically implying what's canon and what's not he's just trying to basically make himself look good here because if he were to say oh i don't accept sonato i don't accept these other ships because then those fans are going to attack me and harass me and this shit's never going to go away he's just typing up a fluff piece to make himself look good and the original tweet is ruffled feathers remains university true if you encounter someone being awful report it black uh block them do not engage and calm down about the cartoon animals are snogging for love yeah Here's another thing, Ian. Why did you just ignore this? Just ignore the fans, the detractors. That's all you got to do. Simple as that. Follow up. I want to stress again. Most of the fandom is great, creative, passionate, engaged. Y'all keep on keeping on. I'm just uh, trying to get ahead of Ian's bigot spin. Some folks are trying to put on this. I can't control the narrative, but I can try to clarify it. That's basically his last statement right there. I understand... You know, I understand Ian Flynn and his fellow writers and Son Amy fans have been getting harassed and bullied by fans of gay and lesbian ships because Son Addo and Tangle Whisper aren't canon in IW, IDW Sonic or the games. Well, yeah, that's because Sega right now, you're probably saying, like, why are we seeing so much Son Amy moments? Because they're marketing the hell out of them, that's why. You have to realize that Son Amy's been getting so much attention for the last year, haven't you noticed? Read between the lines, people. 
Sega's never gonna canonize all your other shitty fa fan fictions. They're not gonna canonize Son at all, not even for Pride Month. Tango and Whisper, a possibility, but at the end of the day, they're never gonna canonize that because you're gonna basically offend a lot of people. That's all I have to say about this whole situation. And again, it, it's ridiculous. Even when we show them the evidence, they still they act ignorant. I don't know why. Like, what the hell more, more do you want? I'm showing you the evidence, and yet you still have the audacity of having a shouting match with me. Like, why? Here's the evidence. You would think all the evidence and all this stuff would shut you up, but no. You know, seriously, these fucking toxic fans are like rabbits. They multiply. What the fuck? My god, man. I can't stand the fandom sometimes. But then again, I do enjoy fucking putting them in, putting them in their place. Everyone, let me know what y'all think about this, and I gotta go. Peace out.